couple of things I wanted to point out. This has the wind wings on the side, as you can see. Um, these are actually glass, and they don't have the Cobra lettering on them because they're glass um, rather than the acrylic. Um, this has a Goodwood sticker on it. This was um, run on the track um, when you saw all six of the original Daytona Coupes all together in one place for the first and only time. And this was the car that was smoking the tires off the start line, uh, running around with those guys on the Goodwood racetrack, which is neat that they have that Goodwood sticker on there. Um, I've seen quite a few period pictures of this car being run in the race with the side curtains on. Um, you see the ferrules are all here and, and uh, original looking for the side curtains. And we've got the um, full box of lifter dots that have been uh, poured into the back of it for a tonneau and a top and that kind of thing. Um, the other thing is you, we can see here, the, looking on the inside, we can see the 289 gas pedal. Um, mm. And we can see the you know, round topped AC font uh, original pedal pads on there. So they've done a nice job keeping that kind of stuff with the car. Um, being a race car, they're not too concerned about things like the uh, sun visors, which it doesn't have on this car either. Um, absolutely wonderful example. It's uh, a delight to see it here. The mirror's uh, not stamped. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, you'll notice things like this has been run with a competition windscreen on it, and so they've put a what looks like a radiot mirror on the dash of the car um, to run the comp screen. I don't see any um, single screen holes in the cowling of the car, but um, this is being shown here today with the full road screen. And even in the right-hand drive, it has the right-hand park windshield wipers on it. The um, two rivet rainbow spoon type windshield wipers.